Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, Big. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. See belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out all right first round is underway here we say in mixed martial arts it's one thing to have the reach advantage it's another thing to use it we'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. he has got to fight tall he's got to stay at range use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 
Oh, nice. And he landed the right hand there. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Able to land there with the straight left. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. Overhand left. Beautiful body punch. Right on the elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Punch over the top. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus pitch. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Checks that leg kick. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Just out of range with that right hook. Not there. Nice punch here. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There it is. There it is. Big kick land. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Nice. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh. Oh, straight right. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Nice strike. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. What a body kick. That was a thudding leg kick. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Knee to the body. Oh, nice. repeatedly nice combination of strikes up top oh beautiful combination up top i don't understand why the guy is not moving his head get your head moving son just missed with the straight left hand liver kick oh lands a stiff punch there nice connection oh nice land Oh, man, head kick lands. Throws the right hand there. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds to go. Looking for that left hand, not there. Final seconds. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. when that leg kick's coming. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. So that punch, no good. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, big punch land. Good combination of strikes there. Beautiful by Oh, Punch coming, it's blocked. Still nice body kick land. How about that chin? Back and forth we go. go. Oh, big head kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice kick. Three minutes to go in round three. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Great punch. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. That uppercut landed. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Trying to double up on that jab. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Punches blocked. Lee gets hit with a kick. What a tricky head kick. Another head kick land. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, man, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Just digs his opponent. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Real quick leg kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, he missed with that right hand. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Twenty seconds left. Nice leg kick. Nice. 
Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Oh, head kick blocked by Liv. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice head kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Connects with a right. Engages in the single collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful punch. Visibly limping here. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Steady. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big kick lands. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, he will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he, oh, he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Kick to the body by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. They continue to exchange. Big head kick lands. Sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as 
he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds in round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Now, DC, we know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized.